Well, we finally have an open source Android application for Dynamic Island and I was waiting to show this application to you guys. But the applications for Dynamic Island that are available on Google Play Store are different from this one because they are not open source. I will try to keep this video as short as possible and I will try to show you the exact steps on how to download this application and how to make this application work in your Android device. So let's get started. You can download this application from two different sources. One is directly from GitHub. So you just download the APK file and install the APK file in your Android device. Now if you are using any open source application store like Fdroid, you need to activate an open source repository called as Easy Android because right now this application is not directly available on Fdroid. It is available only on Easy Android. Let me actually show you how to add this repository to Fdroid. It is a simple two step process and it won't take much time. So step number one is to visit this Easy Android website using your Android browser. And once you open this website, you will see this repository link on the top here. You can just go ahead and copy this repository link here. Step number two is to open Android, go to settings, then tap on this add a repository and paste the copied link here. Now Easy Android will be activated and you will get all the applications from this repository. The application for Dynamic Island is known as Smart Edge. So you can simply search Smart Edge and it should pop up in the search results. You can go ahead and download this application in your Android device. Now before you start using this application in your Android device, you need to give some important permissions here like the notification access and the audio recording permissions. And you also need to enable this application from the device accessibility menu. Because all these steps are important to make this application work properly. And once you are done with all the permissions, you should be able to use this application without any issues. Now after giving all the permissions, you can customize this application as per your requirements because some devices have punch hole camera to the left or to the right. And it would look very weird if there are like two punch holes on the display. Smart Edge offers you an option to align this dynamic island so that you can keep it right below the punch hole camera which is going to look much better. You can also adjust the height and width of this dynamic island depending on the size of punch hole or depending on your preference. And once you have done all that, you would be able to enjoy the beautiful dynamic island under the punch hole camera. And you can also use options like long press which is going to help you access any application easily. And you will also receive notifications through this application and the notification icons will be displayed as well. And for music players, you will get the normal album art on one side and the visualizer on the other side which looks pretty good actually. This application is still in its early access so you might find some small bugs here and there but there are no other major issues here. And we just have to wait for some more updates so that it starts working properly. And I am going to leave all the useful links in the video description in case you want to check them out. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and take care.